Hello, so I'm here at Mill Road Cemetery and I'll be joined by our curator of birds, Daniel Field, to listen to some of these amazing birds that we can hear singing. We're right in the middle of Cambridge, it's early in the morning. And just listen to all those birds that are singing. We're going to be sharing with you some birds you might see and hear in February with some top tips for recognising their songs. Uh, hi, I'm Daniel Field and I'm the Curator of Birds at the University Museum of Zoology at Cambridge. And we're here in the Mill Road Cemetery right in the middle of Cambridge, early in the morning in early February. And as you can hopefully hear, there's a lot of bird activity going on, lots of uh, different species vocalizing and singing. And uh, that's terrific, as you can tell from my outfit, it's uh, a really mild day for early February. And it seems like a lot of the birds around here are, are really sort of getting into uh, spring form. We're kind of approaching the breeding season for a lot of these resident bird species. So they're starting to uh, sing to, to advertise to potential mates. And um, I mean, if we just sort of listen for a second, um, there's probably half a dozen bird species just singing here. I hear a dunnock there. There, blackbird. Ren singing. Song thrush behind us, robins and uh, blue and great tits. So So it really is a very busy morning uh, for the birds. And all uh, there's a song thrush um, uh, singing uh, phrases, repeating different phrases um, every so often towards the center of the cemetery. There are also quite a few different uh, 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 pigeons making different calls. The uh, Eurasian collared doves um, have been calling uh, all over the cemetery, uh, giving their sort of hoo 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 uh, call, which you uh, will probably be familiar with if uh, if you live right in town. They're really sort of urban birds, those collared doves. <laughs> Just right at this spot, there's a wren singing a little bit further away. And uh, earlier on, there were some green finches giving a very raspy, very distinctive bzzz, uh, call. A couple of crows. As all the birds disperse. So we just had a sparrowhawk fly right past us, quite low, uh, scattering pigeons in its way. So there's some tits singing. Uh, this morning there have been blue and great tits, which are common ones, but there may be a, a cold tit close by here. Oh yeah, fabulous. So we've got a cold tit singing right above us oh, yeah. on this pine branch. A tiny little tit buried in the pine needles, but singing loud and clear. Do they feed on the pine cones? Yeah, you often see them hopping around in coniferous trees. Um, 
and every so often when I walk around the Mill Road Cemetery, I'll come across a coal tip, usually in these big old pine trees. That's certainly a less common sighting uh, than most of the other birds that we've had today. Yeah, so, so this is a, a great example of a species that's only here in the winter. So this is not a resident species. Uh, red wings are thrushes, we often call them winter thrushes, that come down to this part of England uh, in the winter time. In the breeding season, they'll head back north to places like Scandinavia uh, uh, to breed. And oftentimes, red wings are really quite shy and it's, uh, it can be difficult to get up close to them. But this individual is being very accommodating here. So like other thrushes, such as blackbirds and, and song thrushes, as well as missile thrushes, like another red wing just uh, flew into the same tree here. There are a couple of them. Uh, red wings uh, like to spend the winter eating uh, fruit. So oftentimes, if you're in an area with lots of hedgerows, uh, with hawthorns, for example, uh, uh, or holly, I've seen uh, red wings eating holly berries just in the cemetery here. Um, that can be very attractive to thrushes to, as an energy-rich uh, food source to help them through cold weather. There we go. So we've got two stock doves at the top of the pine tree here. Oh. I haven't heard them this morning doing their woo-woo-woo call. But it's so nice to see them right here in the middle of the city. The fact that there's a pair uh, probably indicates that, that this is uh, a breeding pair. Very interested in the nest box that's been set up for them here. A really beautiful robin singing just down low in the bramble here. Hopefully you can hear it above the uh, hedge trimmers. Do birds in urban environments have to sing louder than... <laughs> That's a good question. They, rural, they, they, they may well, I'm not really sure. It's a great tit calling right above us. Oh, there it goes. You never hang around for too long. have to go far to listen to birds. Why not have a go yourself? Open your window or go in your back garden and see if you can hear any of the birds that are singing. This is a great time of year to start getting your ear in and trying to work out what species you can hear nearby. So why not have a go? And why not write down and tell us what you can hear? We've got a robin singing right here in the bush. There you go, that'll be one of the more common sounds you're likely to hear early in the morning around Cambridge.